It says recently when she was offered the lead role. I think so that means made that... light. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. It lines recently when she was opened the the lead role in director Rick Callahan's mm -hmm. new blockbuster. This young actress has everything going for her. It's unlike she will take up anything, son. Um, it's unlikely she will. It says anytime soon. Anytime. Yeah, look at look at the word anytime soon. This it says uh, this young actress has everything going for her. It's unlikely she will. Have that connections. Means, no, that means that she will be seen by other people. Drop out of seeing. Exactly, drop out of sight. Mm. That's number four. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will drop out of sight. Anything, anytime soon. Your career is just getting started. You need sure to not discover. No, her career is going to like like a start. Like oh, like take the, off. Like, like exactly like the planes take off. It's a start to oh. go up. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh huh. Continue, please. Or well, uh, I don't know. Uh, Mr. David, can you help me, please? Mrs. Yes. Larus. Please. <laughs> Miss Larus. <laughs> okay. The last answer was take. Take place. No, the last. No, the last one was take off. Take off. Take off. Be okay. sure to take off. Mm -hmm. Take off. Okay. Miss Larose go discovered five years ago while working at a movie theater. Talent agent Erica Ben Ken saw Larose and thought she had star qualities. The rest is history. The rest is history. Mm -hmm. As they say, Miss LaRose says she was lucky to meet Miss Menken. She was studying to be an actress, but she didn't I, I was put drop out of sight. No, it says different. she was she was starting to be an actress, but she didn't she have, she, she have didn't connections? know she didn't know other people exactly. Oh, really? Operation, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. But she didn't have connection in the movie industry. Meeting Erica was an example for being in the right place at the right time, Miss Lara LaRose said. Expect to see Miss LaRose's name in the headlines for a long time. Okay, exactly, very good. In the headlines for a long time. Excellent, you guys, very good. So, these are the answers from the, or the vocabulary. Now, let's move on to the next place exercise. Complete the sentences below with the tag questions, okay? Yes. With the tag question, uh, where is it? Hello, Marquito. Hello, Marco. Can you hear me? Um, I no. think no. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, Diana, can you read the first three? And David, can you read the four, five, and six, please? Come on. Hey, it's great to go out and see a movie, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
We're not going to be late for the movie, are we? Okay. And, and the other is, you haven't seen this movie yet, have you? You liked the movie, didn't you? It was interesting, wasn't it? That actor has been in a lot of films, hasn't he? Exactly, hasn't he? Very good, you guys. Excellent. Good job. Now, look at the other. It stars Among Us. Oh, Among Us. <laughs> Does remember me Among Us? I know, I know. It's a very... Very, a very popular. Yeah, very popular these days between teenagers. Yes. Okay. So, guys. Complete the conversation with tag questions. Okay, so we have conversation one and two. So, hello, Marquito and Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hey, Mr. Marco. Marco. Excellent. Hi. Good to see you guys. Good to yes. see you. Okay, so uh, Marco, can you help me with the first conversation, please, and Andrea? Okay. Marco, you, you are A, Andrea, you are B. Uh, Bean Outlet gives a lot of money to charity, doesn't he? I didn't know that. You don't see it in the press very much, do you? Uh, no, but then people often do the charity work in a uh, uh, don't they? Uh, uh, okay, hey, wait, wait. In the first one, what was the first answer here? Here. Do you? Do you? Uh, ben Affleck gives a lot of money to charity, doesn't he? Aha, uh -huh, yes, exactly. Do you? Very good, yes, thank you. Do you? And the other, Marco? Okay. Uh, Can you repeat? Day. Don't they? Excellent. Yeah, yes, it's okay. Don't they. Yes, very good, very good. Continue, please. Sorry about that. Come on. Okay. Okay, maybe, but it's great to see someone who is so usually gives money, money to good houses, isn't it? Sure, but I wish someone would give some to me. Exactly, very good. Thank you. Okay, now, hey, Marquito and Diana, please. Can you help me with the next? E. Yes, hey, Diana, you're A, Marquito, please, you're B, okay? Come on. Okay. Oh my goodness, that isn't Shirley Crown, is she? Hey, that isn't, is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, is it? Because it's that isn't, you know? You oh, you are you are talking about a, a neutral a neutral you know pronoun because you you don't know. Oh right yes. Is it? Uh, go ahead please. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. She doesn't go shopping in this mall, does she? I don't know. I think it's her. She just singing. Thinking it that you should sign. Sign. Doesn't she? Uh, no, I. She just signed in past. Sign. Didn't. Exactly. Mm, it does kind of look like her. Doesn't this? Doesn't it? Okay. Yes. I was right. Wasn't I? Come on, let's go over and get her autograph too. Exactly. Very good. Excellent, you guys. Very good. Now, look at the next. It says, tell us about yourself. Imagine you are going to interview actor Reese Winterspoon. Write that questions. You can ask her to to check the following facts, okay? Now, this is the facts and this is the question. 
the fact is race in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. So the, that question is, you were raised in Tennessee, weren't you? Okay. David, number two and three. Okay. You start acting at the age of seven, didn't you? Uh -huh. Exactly, didn't you? Very good, excellent. Continue. Yes, number three also. Your first major role was in the man in the moon, wasn't it? Exactly, wasn't it? Very good. Diana, number uh, four. four and five, please. Eight. Number mm, four, right. You were you, a, mm -hmm. yes. You were a period. No, with, you, okay, first, uh, you appeared. And uh, you appeared. You appeared, uh huh. Right. You appeared in over 25 movies by the age of 30. You then do? Exactly. And the other in this in this uh, can I use she or he in the next one? No, it no you you can say we're using you because you are talking to to directly to another to the other to the woman. Okay. Okay. You it's you you has produced several films. You has? Yes. Has? That's for why I asked, because in the number five say has. Oh, of, of course, yes, it says has because it's a fact, okay? It's a fact. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you are talking directly to the, it's like imagine that you were, you know, ask, ask questions, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine that you were going to ask questions. So we're using you, the pronoun you. So when you say you, do you say has? No, I use have. So, come on. Okay. You have produced several films. And... Did you? Mm, no, it's present perfect. Present perfect. Oh, let me check. You have produced several films. What is auxiliary? Have you? Uh, have. Have yes, you? But, but, but it's affirmative. Now should be negative. Mm. Yes, having you. Exactly, mm -hmm. having you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, a uh, Marquito number six. Did you get married to actor? Uh, Ryan Fine? Ryan Phillip. Ryan Phillip. Didn't you? Mm, okay, well, in this case, married is like an adjective. You are. It would be you are. You are married to an actor, Ryan Phillip. Phillip. Aren't you? Mm. Okay. Yes. Andrea, number seven. Okay, you have two children. Okay, you have two children, don't you? Exactly, you have two children, don't you? Okay, excellent, you guys, very good. Okay, so all right, everybody. Uh, yes, okay, now. We finished this part. Let's move on to uh, the book, please. Oh, here it is. Okay. Wait a second, please. Okay. 
So today, guys, we're going to talk about, we're going to see lessons. Uh, we're going to see, um, uh, we're going to study lesson C, okay? And in lesson C, we have the topic, good question, okay? Yes. Remember that we have, we have been talking about, you know, a fame, right? Yes. We have been talking about fame. Now, guys, what actors... Okay, what actors or actress, okay, uh, have been in the public eye recently? Come on, can you tell me? What actors, actress, or someone in the media, or someone, uh, something about politics, okay? Who is in the public eye right now, in these days? Come on. Biden. Exactly, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Yes, it's very popular. The new president, right? Yes. Yes. I know, I know. It's a new president. Oh my gosh. Who else, guys? Who else is in the public eye right now? He's on the who's on the spot right now? Apart from Biden, who else, guys? Any any other any other person who is in the public eye only Biden? So all the media is talking about Biden only or other other things? Well, yesterday I checked my cell phone and I see that Peru uh, Peru hadn't have a president. Oh, like it doesn't have a president, Peru? Yes, I don't know why. But I see a video, and in the video, it's playing why. Oh my God! So there was. Are they are they having an election or not? I think no. No. I so they no. so they, they they want to change their president. Yes, I think for the the president. I don't know. I don't remember very well the the video. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, you guys, very good. So let's continue, please. It says, good question. Okay, you guys, so uh, let's get it started now with the lesson C and it says, good question, guys. So, what are some things that people take lessons or classes, guys, to learn how to? <laughs> I think. English. <laughs> learn English. Yes. But what French. else? French. French. Well, languages. Uh -huh. What yeah, else? Languages in general. Uh, mathematics. Yes. What else? Mathematics, I say. Math, math, oh, mathematics. Okay, very good. What else? Um, what else, you guys? Come on. From technology. You take lessons to learn technology? From people. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, if I want to learn about technology, if I want to learn how to use a cell phone, do you do you think I need to take a lesson? Well, in this case, no, because no, it's very right? common. Exactly. So, for example, okay. Okay. Uh, for example, think about a hey, think about activities. For example, uh, are you good? Sports? Are you good at? Yeah, sports. Are you good at singing? Okay. Are you good at singing? So, if you if you are not good at singing, well, you should take Classes. a lesson. Okay. Yes. So, guys, think about a time that you were trying to learn something. You know, something new. Okay. Maybe think about if you when you try to you know learn maybe English, try to learn math 
try to learn uh, how to play an instrument, okay? Did you ever feel discouraged? Okay, and and want to quit? For example, I, I don't know, Marco, can you tell me please if you have ever feel discouraged and want to quit when you when you were trying something new? Hello, Marco, are you there? Okay, 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 teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, when I um, uh, try to new uh, uh, a new thing, um, uh, sometimes uh, I feel uh, uh, frustrated. Okay, frustrated, okay. frustrated, uh, frustrated. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, I continue. Mm -hmm. I continue uh, do the do do homework, and I can uh, pass. Uh, I can pass uh, pass the the, the hardly moment. Okay, okay, very good. All right, thank you, thank you, very good, guys. So, uh, guys, so the conversation strategy is giving encouraging advice, like a motivating advice, okay? Yes, so uh, when people give advice, guys, give advice or a recommendation, okay? Tack questions can make the advice sound softer, okay? Because you know we were practicing tag questions, and they make the they make them sound softer because the speaker appears to be asking a question rather than directly you know telling the listener to take an advice. Okay, yes. So it's like saying like asking a question, but you know, in a softer way. Yes. So that's why we're gonna see tag questions in our. A conversations today giving encouraging advice so guys look at the responses to the problem okay which advice sounds softer and more encouraging for example I can keep up with all my homework I'm always behind okay what would be the correct advice I think there be can you read it please Okay, well, you could talk to your teacher, couldn't you? Okay, exactly, yes. As I mentioned before, the talk, oh, and now, okay, now can you read letter A, please? Well, you could talk to your teacher. Okay, like, well, you could talk to your teacher. Like, you know, sometimes for some people, it sounds like they're direct, okay? So the best answer is letter B, e. right? Excellent. So you guys, now, listen, why is Nella thinking of dropping out of her acting class? Look at that. She wants to drop out. She wants to quit. Okay. So why she's considering quitting? So listen up, please. Can you listen, guys? No. No? Wait. It was advice. Now? Yes. Yeah. So, how's your acting class going? It's hard to say. It's fun, but I'm not learning much. Well, you could look for another class, couldn't you? Maybe. The thing is, I like the teacher, but she hardly notices me. She never gives me any feedback. Hmm, 
how can you get her attention? Good question. I wish I knew. Actually, I'm thinking of dropping out. Well, before you do that, it would be good to talk with her, wouldn't it? I'm not sure I want to know what she thinks. I mean, most of the other students have been acting since they were kids. Do you think that if I'd gotten an earlier start, I'd be a better actor by now? That's a tough one. I don't know. But you've only been in the class a few weeks. You should at least give it a chance, shouldn't you? You're right. I guess I should. Okay, listen one more time, everybody. Maybe. Answer no to agree. C. Good question. One. Conversation strategy. Giving encouraging advice. B. Listen. What is Mila's problem? And what is Steve's advice? So, how's your acting class going? It's hard to say. It's fun, but I'm not learning much. Well, you could look for another class, couldn't you? Maybe. The thing is, I like the teacher, but she hardly notices me. She never gives me any feedback. Hmm. How can you get her attention? Good question. I wish I knew. Actually, I'm thinking of dropping out. Well, before you do that, it would be good to talk with her, wouldn't it? I'm not sure I want to know what she thinks. I mean, most of the other students have been acting since they were kids. Do you think that if I'd gotten an earlier start, I'd be a better actor by now? That's a tough one. I don't know. But you've only been in the class a few weeks. You should at least give it a chance, shouldn't you? You're right. I guess I should. Page 103, three, lit. Okay, you guys, so. Why is Nella thinking of dropping out of her um, class? Why? Because he's not learning much. Okay. And? And because the teacher and the teacher hardly notice notice his. Mm -hmm. So she never gives gives her any feedback. Exactly. She never gives her any feedback. Okay. Yes. And she's not learning much. So she's like kind of discouraged. Okay. She's like kind of discouraged, you guys. Now, look at this. Look at the notice. Notice how Steve uses that questions to soften his advice and give Nella an encouragement. Find examples. You could look for another class, couldn't you? Can you find more examples, please? Can you help me highlight in the text, please? Whoever could do it, go ahead. Okay, what else? Okay, so for example, look at Diana highlighted. Diana, can you read what you highlighted, please? Okay. Well, before you do that, it will be good to talk with her, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. And the other is, you should at least give it a chance, shouldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, Look, guys, look at these stack questions. Look at what, what, what Diana, Diana I underlined. And also the example. Look at the example here. Okay. Now look at the, the look at the tag question, guys. What verbs are they using in the tag questions? 
Oh. As? No, wait. Good. Okay. Model verb? Exactly, models. Okay. So, we are using here, guys, model verbs. Couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. couldn't. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So, guys, we use these modal verbs to give advice. Okay? To give advice. Now, uh, I'm going to leave you guys. I'm going to give you a, a, just a few minutes for you to practice the conversation. Okay? So, please, go ahead. Practice, you guys, the conversation. And uh, I will... I will make the groups, okay? Wait a second. Okay. Mm, wait. Okay, so come on guys. I'll give you a few minutes for you to practice the conversation, okay? Come on, let's go. All right, you guys. Uh, let's get it started with the next exercise, please. Now, Thank having you. this in mind, guys, having this in mind, can you please um, match? Can you match the sentences? Okay. Match Thank the problems you. with advice. Okay. Come on.
finish. Okay, very good. Okay, Diana, what's, what are the answers that you have in this exercise? Number, uh, one. number one, I think it's number C. Uh -huh. Number two? Is A. Number three? B. The last one, right? Okay. Now, yes, these are the correct answers, you guys. Okay, very good. Now. You guys are going to continue the conversation, okay? For example, look at the first. Look at this. Mm, it says, number one, okay? And number two, yes? So, uh, Diana and uh, Mr. David, you will do ex you will do conversation one and Marco and Tim, you will do conversation two. Okay. Now, what you have to do is to, you know, to do this conversation. Okay. Do this, this is small conversation, but I need you to continue the conversation. Okay. Yes. Continue the, the, the conversation for as long as you can. And I will set a timing. I will set a timing. But if you want to say, continue the conversation, I will let you do it, okay? Yes? So you have the topic. The topic is, I have a chance to host a radio show for a week, okay? Yes? And then the other person gives you for advice, yes? So Diana, you are, you are, the, you are, you read the first sentence and, the, and uh, David, you read the letter, the, the advice, okay? And you have to give more examples, okay? Yes, so I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to prepare and to and to act and to rehearse the conversation for a few minutes, okay? Yes, okay. you have to, hey, you have to agree who is, well, I told you now, I told you now, Diana, that you start and then David, you, you, you say the advice, but later you will have to continue, okay? who asks the questions, who responds, and then who answers the next questions, okay? So the topic is this, a chance to host a radio show for a week, okay? Any okay. questions, you guys? David? Hello, you guys. Yeah, it's okay? Microphone. Ah, your microphone, yeah, it's okay. Excellent. And uh, Marco, it's okay? Marquito? Sí. Yes. Okay. So okay. remember, you will do number two. Yes. You will try to do the conversation as long as you can. Okay. Yes. So for this, I'm going to give you like around, I don't know, like, like seven minutes, maybe. Okay. Or eight minutes for you to practice the conversations. Okay. And then you will do the conversation here. Okay. So I will send you to, to the rooms, okay? One more time. Here we go.
All right, you guys, so let's get it started. Come on. Diana and David, can you get it started, please? Teacher. Yes. We practice two conversations. Ah, uh, you did two conversations? Yes. Oh, okay. So it's better, right? Yes. But I think it's better the, the number two. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead. Yes, you, you can do both. Come on, go ahead. David, you start. Your microphone, David. David, the microphone. That's right. Okay, you start. Okay. With the third question, I wish I could sing better. I haven't sung in age and my voice sounds awful. Oh. Well, it would help to take some singing lesson, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I don't know when, I don't know where I can take the lessons. You know something about that? Mm, that's a good idea. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. That's a good question, but sorry, I don't know. Okay. I, I think so. But the thing is, when I try to song in public, I'm a, I get a, I get a, a shame. Really? Yeah. That's, that's too bad. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> I don't know. And the, that's the first one. Yes. Okay. And the second one? Mr. David. <laughs> oh my God. Funny because in the breakup rooms, we talk about one, and in this case, we need to improve. Okay, okay. <laughs> Diana is a good singer, but just in the, when she is taking a shower. <laughs> yes, okay. We talk about it. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Okay. All right. That's it, or do you have another conversation? I think that's, that's it. That's it, okay, very good. Uh, yes, Marco, go ahead, please. Okay. Um... I'd like to act in a play, but I get scared when I start from in front of people. Okay. Uh, you could uh, go to some auditions, uh, couldn't you? Uh, you might get over your stay fright. Okay. Um, maybe. Um, I have, I have a lot of time to practice. And, and I think I, I should. Uh, 
What day is uh, your audition? Okay. What day? Mm, it's on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, I think uh, you have uh, enough time. Uh, I think you should uh, procure uh, more and uh, you, you you should uh, think uh, positive uh, uh, you uh, you can uh, pass uh, the audition. Uh, can you? Yes. And I will practice them. Okay. In in the play, uh, you have uh, to sing. Um, no, uh, in the play, just uh, we need to act. Only act. Okay. Uh, remember, uh, you have acted. Uh, 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 a, a lot of time. Uh, I think you shouldn't be, uh, don't have uh, problems. Uh, have, have you? Um, no, I haven't. Okay. 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 <laughs> Excellent, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, okay? Excellent piece of conversation, okay? Very good. Now, guys, uh, thanks for your for your uh, participation, it's okay, yes? Now, let's move on. I would like you to move on, please, to the next part in the book, okay? A straight plus, it's hard to say, okay? Diana, can you help me read the, 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 the part of the, the straight plus? Surgery plus is hard to say. You can use expression like this when a, a question is difficult to answer. Hard to say, good question, or that's a good question. And the last one, that's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Repeat, tough. 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 A tough one. Tough, tough, okay. one. tough one. Exactly, that's a tough one. So, okay, and look at the conversation. Diana, please. Okay. How can you get her attention? Good question. I wish I knew. Exactly. Now, these expressions, okay, as the straighty plus says, guys, when, when you have a difficult question to answer, okay, it's hard to say good question or that's a good question or that's a tough tough one okay yes so guys ask and answer the questions and use the expressions above when the questions is difficult to answer okay for example look at number one okay look at number one uh, um, diana and marquito please come on diana your a marquito your b example conversation come on hey do you think you like to be famous someday? Then, then say everybody and gets uh, fifteen minutes of of fame. What um, would you say? Uh, is the strategy plus, Marquito? Strategy plus. Strategy uh, plus here B. Okay. Example conversation. That's the touch one. I love the attention, but. Okay, Marquito, repeat. Tough. 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 That's a tough one. 
that's, 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 that's exactly that's a tough one okay very good so come on uh, okay now you guys are going to answer these questions you can answer the question but if it's a like a difficult question you can say it's hard to say good question on oh, that's a tough one here it says that's a tough one i love the attention but that means that you have to say something else okay okay if it's a very easy question well you can answer it no problem but it's if it's a tough question well you you should answer but using one of these expressions okay so for example uh, yes um uh, 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 marco can you ask number two to David, please? Okay. Uh, they say everybody gets uh, uh, 15 minutes mm -hmm. of pain. What would you like to be famous for? Oh. It's hard to say. Okay. Um, I think. I like to be a good singer, for example. Less for that's 15 minutes. Of fame. Exactly. Thank you. Now, uh, David, ask Diana, please, number three. Would you like to perform on a stage in front of a lot of people? No, I wouldn't. I don't like to. I don't like the attention for me. That's all. Okay. Diana, ask Andrea, please. Number four. Okay. If you were famous, if you were famous entertainer, would you rather be an actor, a singer, or a comedian? Comedian. Comedian. Uh, Andrea, you finished or are you going to answer my question? I finished. No, but you have to explain. I mean, can you repeat one more time, Diana, please? I mean, just I mean, just don't say an actor, yes, but uh, come on, you have to produce more than that. Diana, go one more time, please. If you were a famous entertainer, would you rather be an actor, a singer, or a comedian? Okay, um, that's a good question. Probably I would like to be an actor. Mm. Because, why, why is it? Mm. Because I think um, it would be funny. If, if you're gonna be what funny it would be funny it would be fun okay all right well it would be fun ask marquito please next number number five do you think you'd ever like to be in 
That's a good question. But I don't, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I would, I would like it because uh, it's a lot of responsibility. Responsibility. Responsibility, yeah. Okay. Uh, Marco, would you like to run for a political office someday? Uh, it's, it's hard to say uh, because at uh, this moment, uh, I feel uh, well in my job, but, okay. but uh, I have a new job in, in politics is a uh, is is going to be a challenge for me a challenge a challenge for me for excellent david if you became famous would you keep all of all of your old friends of course really um, uh huh yeah why is that i think uh, nobody try to change uh, about perform with the uh, with their friends or with their uh, neighbors, for example. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Diana. If you had been born into a famous family, how would your life have been different? Well, hard to say, but maybe I can study in a better school or have better things, um, travel to other city, country, I don't know. Okay, exactly. Very good. All right, you guys. Thank you for that, you guys. Listening. Advice. Okay. Listen up, please. A and B. Listen to Tom talk to George about his band. Hey, George. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So listen to Tom and George talk about his band, guys. So circle A or B. Okay. So here we go. I guess I should. Page 103, three, listening and strategies. Great advice, A and B. Listen to Tom talk to George about his band. Hey George, what's up? Hey Tom, good to see you. How are things going? How's the band? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, we're still practicing and everything. But you're writing some new stuff, aren't you? like your own original stuff. Yeah, we've got some great new songs, actually. I mean, we're writing all our own stuff. Our main problem is finding places to play. We don't get many gigs. Really? It's not easy to get bookings, huh? No, we've been trying to find more places to perform. I mean, nobody really knows who we are. If I'd known how hard it is to get gigs, I probably wouldn't have given up my part-time job. I mean, I gave it up so we could play in the evenings and on weekends and everything. Huh. So what are you doing to get more gigs then? That's a good question. We really need more publicity. I mean, we've played at a couple of local colleges, but that's about it. We really need to get our name out there, get ourselves known, you know, so we can play at some clubs and bigger places like that. We hardly earn anything right now for the small gigs we do. Well, you could contact the local radio station, couldn't you? That might lead to something. I mean, they support local bands, don't they? Actually, yeah. That's a great idea. We haven't done that. And you could record some of your songs, couldn't you? Hire a recording studio for a day. Then yeah. you send the songs to music bloggers and reviewers and upload them to a video sharing website. 
You can be viral stars in a couple of weeks. I mean, it's not too difficult to get your name out there. It would be amazing if you got discovered by a record company or something, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. But it costs a lot to hire a studio and a producer and record a song. So we haven't really done any of that. And honestly, I wouldn't have any idea how to do it anyway. Well, you could produce it yourself too, couldn't you? I mean, there's all kinds of software you can use to do that. And you could record it at home. Huh. Well, you should get a manager too, shouldn't you? Someone with connections. You know, someone to get you gigs and get your name out there. Yeah, I guess. We should have had a manager from the start. Maybe if we'd had a manager, we would have done better. Yeah, and you know what? I think if you'd called yourselves something different, if you'd had a catchier name, something people remember, you might have gotten noticed more. But it's not too late. You could still do that, couldn't you? Wow, that's a really good point. Nobody knows our name right now. Our drummer chose the name. It's not my favorite for sure. But hey, you have some good ideas. Maybe you should be our manager. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's a great idea. I'd be perfect. You see. All right, guys. Okay, do you want me to repeat that again, right? Aye. Go ahead. So listen carefully. There are only two options, okay? Please listen carefully. Here we go. Page 103. Three, listening and strategies. Great advice, A and B. Listen to Tom talk to George about his band. Hey, George, what's up? Hey, Tom, good to see you. How are things going? How's the band? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, we're still practicing and everything. But you're writing some new stuff, aren't you? Like your own original stuff. Yeah, we've got some great new songs, actually. I mean, we're writing all our own stuff. Our main problem is finding places to play. We don't get many gigs. Really? It's not easy to get bookings, huh? No, we've been trying to find more places to perform. I mean, nobody really knows who we are. If I'd known how hard it is to get gigs, I probably wouldn't have given up my part-time job. I mean, I gave it up so we could play in the evenings and on weekends and everything. Huh. So what are you doing to get more gigs then? That's a good question. We really need more publicity. I mean, we've played at a couple of local colleges, but that's about it. We really need to get our name out there, get ourselves known, you know, so we can play at some clubs and bigger places like that. We hardly earn anything right now for the small gigs we do. Well, you could contact the local radio station, couldn't you? That might lead to something. I mean, they support local bands, don't they? Actually, yeah. That's a great idea. We haven't done that. And you could record some of your songs, couldn't you? Hire a recording studio for a day. Then you send the songs to music bloggers and reviewers and upload them to a video sharing website. You could be viral stars in a couple of weeks I mean, it's not too difficult to get your name out there. It would be amazing if you got discovered by a record company or something, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. But it costs a lot to hire a studio and a producer and record a song. So we haven't really done any of that. And honestly, I wouldn't have any idea how to do it anyway. Well, you could produce it yourself too, couldn't you? I mean, there's all kinds of software you can use to do that. And you could record it at home. Huh. Well, you should get a manager too, shouldn't you? Someone with connections. You know, someone to get you gigs and get your name out there. Yeah, I guess. We should have had a manager from the start. Maybe if we'd had a manager, we would have done better. 
Yeah, and you know what? I think if you'd called yourself something different, if you'd had a catchier name, something people remember, you might have gotten noticed more. But it's not too late. You could still do that, couldn't you? Wow, that's a really good point. Nobody knows our name right now. Our drummer chose the name. It's not my favorite for sure. But hey, you have some good ideas. Maybe you should be our manager. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's a great idea. I'd be perfect. You see. Page 105. All right, you guys, let's check right quick. Come on. So, number one, Diana, what do you have? Letter B. Letter B. Okay, let me check. Let me just, uh, letter B, there you go. Okay, Marco, number two. Letter A. Okay, Marquito, number three. get to to get discovered yes letter b a. number four hey andrea the letter a yes letter a number five number five baby what does Tom think they should have done? I think found a manager. Okay, found a manager, very good, yes. Okay, thank you. And Diana, one more time, please, number six. I think they should change it, letter A. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good, they should change it, letter Hey, thank you, you guys. Very good. So, Diana, come on. What did we practice today? Uh, we, we practice about strategy plus. When we don't know how to respond, we can use uh, it's hard to say, good question, good question and that's, that's tough one. Exactly. What was the conversation, conversation strategy? Encouraging what? Look at the first part of, of the lesson. What was the name? Giving encouraging advice. Exactly, giving encouraging advice. So, so we use the tag, we use tag questions in order to make our sentence softer, okay? We make our sentence softer, you guys, yes? So, a uh, good job on that everyone okay we're gonna stop here for homework you will have what page diana um, 78 and 79 and 79 okay 70 and 79 for homework okay you guys